This is going to be a comparison of the HP Prime and the TI Inspire CX2 CAS. I'm going to start off by showing some relevant information right here. So pause the video if you want to take a longer look at that. So first off, as you saw, although prices do fluctuate, just from looking on Amazon, there's a pretty significant price difference between these two calculators. The HP Prime, when I bought it, it was $99 on Amazon, and currently the TI Inspire CX2 CAS is about $125. But in general, you're going to see that the TI Inspire CX2 CAS is going to be at least $20 more expensive than the HP Prime. I'm going to start by comparing the physical or more hardware aspects of these two calculators, and then I'm going to transition into talking about the differences in features. Both of them are made entirely of plastic, and they both have these slide-on cases which fit over the front or the backs of the calculator. But in general, I'll just say that the HP Prime feels like the much more well-built device. First of all, it sits flat on the desk, it doesn't rock at all, whereas the TI Inspire does have a little bit of rockage that was just it's possible that that's not true with every single TI Inspire that they produce, but for the one that I have at least, the feet here on the bottom are not exactly the same size, so it rocks a little bit on the desk. The HP Prime definitely feels a lot more solid and dense than the Inspire does. You can kind of see in this shot that the screen on the Inspire is set pretty far below the outer plastic of the screen. Whereas on the HP Prime, the screen is right up next to the plastic, and it makes it feel like a more well-put-together device. All of the buttons on the HP Prime are made of a sort of hard rubber material, whereas on the Inspire, they're all hard plastic. And one thing that kind of bugs me, that also just sort of illustrates the difference in build quality between these two calculators, is the buttons on the Inspire, a lot of them just sort of wiggle around like that. You can see with my finger, I'm not even clicking the buttons, but they're sort of shaking around in the case. The HP Prime's buttons, on the other hand, feel solidly intact and they don't move around. This should give you a general idea of how most of the buttons sound. So one of the biggest differences between these two calculators in terms of hardware is that the HP Prime has a touch screen and the Inspire does not. So this definitely makes using the HP Prime quite a bit easier. Depending on what app you're in, you get this row of contextual buttons down at the bottom of the screen that changes depending on what app you're in. It really just makes controlling certain things on the Prime convenient. And on the Inspire, they have this trackpad thing, which is really not that fun to use. It gets the job done, but it would be a lot nicer if they had a touch screen on the Inspire. In general, even though the HP Prime is less expensive, it's pretty clear that they put a lot more focus and money into the hardware of their calculator. Calculator. Battery life on both of these calculators is pretty good. I haven't done any seriously rigorous tests, but I can pretty confidently say that the battery on the TI Inspire CX2 CAS is going to last you a little bit longer than the battery on the HP Prime. So this is the case even though the HP Prime does have the bigger battery. The battery that comes in the HP Prime is a 2000 milliamp hour battery, and the battery that comes with the TI Inspire is only a 1200 milliamp hour battery. But your battery life is gonna be a little bit longer on the TI Inspire, and in my opinion, this is because the HP Prime is working with a more powerful processor and a larger screen and a touch screen. So now I'm gonna do a simple graph test. I'm gonna be graphing the function sine of x squared. So I'm gonna hit the graph button for both calculators at the same time, and here we go. So you saw there the HP Prime graph the function instantly, no problem at all. The Inspire was, was pretty fast, but there was just a bit of lag time before it finished mapping the function. But this next thing is where the HP Prime really beats out the Inspire. So if you want to do other things with the graph, like move it around and zoom in and out. First of all, it's easier on the HP Prime because you get this nice touch screen. It works just like Google Maps on your phone or something. You can zoom in and out as far as you want, and it will instantly redraw the function. But over here on the Inspire, first of all, you have to use the trackpad. So if you want to pan around, you have to hit control and then click in the middle to grab a place on the graph. And then once you're moving around, you can see it's pretty unresponsive. 
and slow and you can actually see it having to regraph all the points after you move it around. Also, for example, if you really quickly want to zoom out, you can just pinch and squeeze on the screen of the HP Prime. Whereas if you want to do that in on the Inspire, you have to go into a menu and go to zoom, zoom, zoom in or out. But of course on both calculators you can manually set the window size in a menu if you want to display a precise set of X and Y values. So the HP Prime clearly has the faster processor, but I'm going to do a couple more tests to prove that to you and show you so that you can see how much of a difference it really makes. Okay, now I'm going to do a quick computation test. So here on both calculators I have the sum from 1 to 30,000 of 1.002 to the power of x all over x. So I'm going to hit enter at the same time and see which one comes up with the answer first. Here we go. So HP Prime came up with it almost instantly, but the Enspire is still going. And there it is finally. So both calculators same answer, same number of digits, but the HP Prime was much, much faster than the TI Inspire. So just to see if I could slow down the HP Prime a little more, I added a, another zero to this 1.0002, and then I made the sum from 1 to 60,000 instead of 30,000. So here it is again on both calculators. And there's the HP Prime's answer in just a couple seconds. And there's the answer from the Inspire. So another pretty big time gap between the two calculators. Keep in mind that both of these were pretty fast relative to most of the other calculators on the market and you are not often going to be summing 60,000 numbers in a math class or especially not in your daily life. Here's another quick comparison. These are two of the same polar graphs and the step on each calculator is set to the same. It's theta as one and the step size for each calculator is the same. It's one, but as you can see over here on the Enspire, the resolution of the graph looks lower. You have these, these lines here should be ideally curved, but they have some pretty obvious straight parts. And then on the HP Prime, they are much more curved, and the graph just looks a little bit better overall. And then also one thing to note that in this case, when graphing these massive polar functions, the the HP Prime does become a little bit less responsive for zooming in and out and panning around on the graph. That being said, it's going to be not very often that you are graphing a function like this, and for most functions that you're going to be graphing, they are going to be in the regular XY coordinate plane, and panning around on the graph on the HP Prime is going to be just as smooth as I showed you in the first graphing clip. So both of these calculators have a CAS, or a computer algebra system, and they're pretty much both equally capable. So almost anything the HP Prime's CAS can do, the TI Inspire CX2 CAS can also do. But they're both set up a little bit different. By default, on the Inspire, CAS mode is always turned on. And that's what you're going to be using whenever you go into the regular Calculate screen. But for this version of the Inspire, you can turn the CAS off if you want to. On the HP Prime, switching between CAS mode and non-CAS mode is very simple. You can just press this button and you'll be taken into CAS mode. Or you can press the Home button and you're taken into the regular calculation screen with the computer algebra system off. So like I said, capabilities for these two calculators are very similar, but just to give you an idea of what each computer algebra system can do, I'm gonna quickly run through some examples of some expressions or equations that these calculators can both simplify and or solve. So here you go. Factoring almost any expression, expanding almost any expression, solving almost any algebra equation, derivatives, integrals, indefinite integrals, double integrals, even when the bounds are not constants, and the list goes on and on. I'm not aware of an easy way to compute partial derivatives on the HP Prime, 
but I know you can do it on the Enspire. So obviously these calculators with their computer algebra systems can do much more. I'm just going to quickly show you around the menu for each of these calculators. It's going to be really fast. If there's anything you want to look at a little longer, just pause the video. So here are some of the functions in the CAS menu on the HP Prime. And here they are for the Enspire. And before I move on, I'll just mention for any of you that are in high school and looking to do your entire math class on just your calculator, no, there's no way to make either of these calculators show steps. Although in most cases, you will be getting exact answers. So that's it. Both of these calculators, computer algebra systems work very well. They're arguably the best that you can buy at this time. And it's really gonna make it so that you don't have to do any serious algebraic or calculus computations on paper if you don't want to. So in terms of the overall user interface, which one do I like better? Overall, I would just have to go with the HP Prime. And that's just because doing things on this calculator seem a lot more quick. The user interface is a little bit more responsive. And on the TI Inspire, they have this sort of odd system where you create new documents to use any of the apps. So for example, if I wanted to go in and mess around with the spreadsheet, just by opening the app, I have created a new spreadsheet document, which is nice if you want to save any spreadsheet data on your calculator long term, or if you want to have multiple spreadsheets open at the same time. But for most cases, you're not going to want to do that. And you're probably just going to want to quickly jump into an app and then jump out of it. As you can see here, as I'm opening these apps, I'm creating a new document each time I open the app. And these are things that I'll have to go back and delete later. On the HP Prime, using the apps is much more what you would expect, I think. You simply Simply press the apps key and here are all your apps and you can go through and select one and then enter in whatever you want and the calculator will perform its function and then you can go back to doing what you were doing. I should mention that you don't have to open an app every time you want to make a calculation on the Inspire. It has the scratch pad feature up here with the calculate and graph windows. Those just act like the normal home calculation screen like you would find on any calculator and the normal graphing screen that you would find on any calculator. One thing that's better about the TI Inspire is that it's better at assuming multiplication symbols. So for example, I have this expression 2x plus 1 times 3x minus 5 and there's no time symbol in between these two factors. So if I press enter on the Inspire, it'll automatically insert the time symbol and it'll just execute the function but if I hit enter on the HP Prime with the same expression it will give me a syntax error and I'll have to go back and manually insert the times symbol in between the two factors and then it will execute the function. So a small thing, but being able to have the calculator assume time symbols is quite useful and it just makes using the calculator go a little bit faster. And then another thing that I like more about the Inspire is the error messages are much more helpful. See here, if I try to tell the calculator to perform this function, it says error and then it says invalid implied multiply. Whereas if I try to execute the same function on the HP Prime, I get error syntax. And then it doesn't even take me to the line where the error occurred. And so it's possible that I wouldn't know what's wrong with the syntax until I just started trying things and entering multiplication symbols until the calculator let me execute the function. So that's something to keep in mind. There's been quite a few other times where I have just been trying to do something and because I have some menu selected, I can't do it, and I get this really annoying, uninformative yellow circle with an exclamation point in it. So next, and this is one of the main reasons that I use the HP Prime on a daily basis rather than the TI Inspire, is that I prefer the keypad on the HP Prime much more. As I already mentioned, the buttons just feel nicer and much more responsive, but also the layout and choice of buttons on the HP Prime I feel is much better. So as you can see on the Inspire, you have this whole section down here that's dedicated to an alphabetical keyboard, whereas on the HP Prime, the letters 
the individual letters can all be accessed by pressing the alpha key and then pressing the corresponding. But the main reason I prefer using the HP Prime is that you don't have to go into so many menus looking for the right function that you want. So for example, if I wanted to enter a sign function, there is a button for that on the HP Prime. I just press sign like most other calculators. There's your three trig functions. But on the TI Inspire, you have to click this little button right here that says trig and then that brings up a menu and then you use the directional pad to scroll to whatever trig function you want and then press enter. So little things like that, being able to just press one button to get something as common as, as a sign function on HP Prime make actually entering things much faster. I don't know why they didn't choose to include those buttons on the TI Inspire. Instead, they have this entire section down here that's, that's dedicated to being a keyboard. If you just think about it, like how many times are you gonna want to enter the letter Q on your calculator? Not very many, but there is an individual button for Q. But almost every day, you're gonna wanna be entering a trig function, but to do that, you have to press the trig button and then scroll to the correct one you want and then press enter. So I could be being nitpicky, but that's just one reason that I use the HP Prime more than the Inspire. So that's it for this comparison. Um, if you have any questions or other tests you want me to do involving these two calculators, you can comment down below and I will try to reply as soon as possible with an answer to your question. And also, by the way, if you're still watching, this entire channel is dedicated to making calculator videos. I know, it's an absolute dream come true. So if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe down below. Thanks for watching.